I think huddles are all different depending on the system of the coach-player relationship. You're not going to win it offensively. You've got to get to work everybody yep. defensively. That's what I'm looking at. i got to have the defense. I didn't have to go out and play the pick and roll. So I wanted input from the guys who had to do it. I thought that was a logical thing to do. Yo, bring it in. They go to a pick and roll somebody open. We had a coach who realized that I have a bunch of leaders here. I have a bunch of tough, hard men here who understand what they need to do. We got serious at the final second. If I make it, we win. If I miss it, we going in overtime. I ain't giving them a chance to shoot it again. And he allowed us freedom to to do whatever we need to do. They got quick guys in there now, and they got to right. everything. So now we'll have more room back in here. All right, we'll try it. We'll run the X play up here. Start right at the line, right in here. Five, one. I would listen to what people had to say, and then basically at some point I had to make some kind of decision. Look, you got to get up in his chest, yeah. yeah. Listen, hit, you'll bump, step back for a three, or you'll go through, screen down, come for a three. We weren't always successful. But you have to be successful enough in order for the coach to keep his job. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Help each other. Help each other. No one guy's going to do it. Let's do it together. Let's do it together.